Hi, I'm Dennis Kelderman with the Cessna Structures Group. Today we're going to be looking at how to measure a mold impression. In, in a separate video, we, we took the impression. Now the impression is hard. We flipped it over. Remember, we talked about the importance of uh, making an impression that will be stable once we do flip it over, so we don't want a, a, a um, ice cream cone uh, whippy on the top of it. We'd like it fairly flat. And uh, we want it uh, not only covering the damage, but into the known good area so that we can use that comparator uh, as we take the, uh, the baseline, the known good area, versus the area, the, the highest depth of damage. Now, when we're looking at the actual damage, we're going to take the surface first, the known good area. And then we're going to dial down, we're going to go clockwise inward with our optical mic to get to the base of the damage. We're doing the opposite now as we're taking the impression because we have a reverse of the actual damage. So the highest point is actually the depth of our damage. So uh, again, we have the monocle 966 that we've also done a demo on in a different video. I'm going to give us some extra light here. And our our goal is to take the, the upper measurement first. Remember, we take our glasses off when we use the optical mic. I've said before, you'll spend more time finding out where our part is in the, the viewing area than anything that we do on this because of the fact that it's so precise. Well, we just measured a 74 on the high side. Now we're dialed into the other side and we have 70, so we have 4 thousandths damage noted on that first impression. I mentioned earlier that when I had made my, uh, I took, took my Sharpie at fine point and put it at the base of the damage, I actually did myself a favor for my mold impression because when that polyester resin is at the base of the damage, it actually kind of pulls some of that dye out with it, which gives you a, a good thing to focus on. And remember, we want to start with our highest point. And now we go to the known good area with the result of 56 thousandths damage, which is quite serious. <laughs> so anyway, here is uh, an example of uh, measuring mold impressions using polyester. Again, I like using uh, polyester for mold impression because it's so brittle, it retains its shape, it doesn't distort like something softer would be, and it's very inexpensive, and every shop uh, that works on aircraft would probably have some around. So thank you. If you have any uh, questions about this video, other videos, or any question concerning the structure of your Cessna aircraft, give us a call at 316-517-6061. Thank you.